Go to the View menu in Affinity Photo and select Snapping Manager. With Snapping Manager, go to Enable Snapping. And also, Snap to Grid. Make certain they're on. So they're on. Once you've done that, what you can do, go to View Menu again, and you've got Show Grid. You can see my grid already there. You can modify the grid just by using the Grid and Access Manager. Please check out my videos about that. So once you've done that, go to the Pen Tool. You can find that in the Tools panel. There's the Pen Tool. Just click there. Make certain the fill is nothing. You can click on there and just set that just by this. The option there. And then you've got Stroke. I'm going with black. You could go with any color. And then click here. Now I'm going with 42, but you can set it to different. Now, Cap, I've got for the third option. Join, I'm going with the second option. And Align is the first option. So now with those settings, key thing, Mode. Just go up here and you can see there you've got pen mode. Make certain the mode is on there, not one of the other ones. That's a key, very key point. Otherwise you end up might get curves and other designs in it. Now what you can do, now you can duplicate this line. Maybe sometimes it's just easier just to quickly create it just all the way through. And you can click on there and you can see it snaps nicely to that line there. And you can see it just there. If it doesn't, well what you can do, you can always do it again. So you just click there and click there. And then you can go to the next one. However, press escape. Otherwise it will continue to join the line. I don't want that, I want another line. Now again, you could duplicate this, but sometimes it just will ignore. You just can't select it for some weird reason. And I find it just as easy just to go to the next line and just repeat the same thing. And again, escape, again, just down there, click there, escape. And again, now of course you can create all kinds of sizes of grid, and maybe it's easier if you want to do the alter option duplication. That's just as easy. But with lines, it always seems to you find you just can't select it. Certainly doing a tutorial anyway. So once you've done that, what you need now hover over there because I want obviously the lines going down the other way now. So I'm going to click there, and you can see what happens. I didn't do an escape, so make certain you've escaped it, so it's definitely not connected there. We'll just go and. Make sense it's just deselected completely so you can see it's not won't join it up again pen tool and then just go down there and then click and then click there and you can see now you've got that line again escape again repeat that escape the escape key that's just well it may be in a different place it's on the top left for me click there again and again click down there and again escape you just have to remember to do it each time doesn't take five seconds to do it, but sometimes I forget and it just will join the line up, which is not what I want. And you can see then, got it like that. And again, remember it there, just to finish off the grid. Now you've got that grid. What you can now do, of course, you can select all of those. You can select them over in the layers panel. You also can go down to a layer and you can rasterize, you can merge visible, whatever you want to do like that. However, I'm going to go with geometry and merge curves. So merge curves with that. So all those layers have been selected. They're all curves, merge curves. And now you can see I've just got one curve, one complete curve. So you've got that design, which you can then resize, squeeze like that. And of course, rotate it, modify it, add effects, and much, much more. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.